Hey guys, Joe Madden here of Fake Dogs. This is Puckin' Crazy. It is hump day, Wednesday, March 9th. We've only got two NHL games on the board tonight. Look like pretty exciting games, though. I think we're going to see a lot of goals in both of these games with the Washington Capitals taking on the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens taking on the Vancouver Canucks. We're going to have a quick look at what happened yesterday to let everyone get on the stream here. Not sure if Tony Brown or Al Ninos will be on today. Um, we'll wait and see. Kind of a guessing game here if they're coming on with only two games. I gave them both the option that if they didn't want to, they didn't have to make it here today. So, you guys, let's look at what happened yesterday. Now, the Washington Capitals, I'm going to say this right now. Washington Capitals came out, beat my Calgary Flames last night. It is very hard for a team to beat um, two of the Alberta teams in a row. We saw it in Vegas with Vegas last time they came here, beat Edmonton, came and failed to Calgary. So now Washington's in the opposite situation where they beat Calgary in overtime last night. That was a great game. Or sorry, it wasn't overtime. Um, it was a great game last night, five to four, a win for the Washington Capitals. Now we talked about this one yesterday. Something about the Calgary Flames, they struggle against this Washington Capitals team. So Washington, again, got another win over the Calgary Flames, which just has to eat them, eat at them for sure. But we had the New Jersey Devils beat the Colorado Avalanche. Now, what a game this was. On the show, I'm going to run through everything we did. We took the Devils plus the one and a half, which we'd sprinkled on that money line. We also had the team or the game total over six and a half. So that hit as well. Jack Hughes to get a goal, but that didn't happen. And the Avs to get over three and a half. Really did expect more goals out of the Avs, less out of the Devils here. So great game if you had the Devils on that money line. Vegas then went down to the Philadelphia Flyers. Super low scoring game here. The Flyers won it two to one. Not the game I expected. We then had the Florida Panthers beat the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now this was a four to three win uh, for the Florida Panthers. We had the over six and a half in that time in that one. And I was taking it to overtime. Weren't able to see it go to overtime, which I wish it has had. That was such a good pair there. It was so close. I thought we were going to get it. We then cleaned up in the Toronto Maple Leafs Seattle Kraken game. We got the over three and a half with the Maple Leafs. We got the Maple Leafs in the first period at plus 104, and we got the Maple Leafs in regulation. We had the Coyotes plus 155. Now, Chris Ruffalo was on. He put us onto that with the New York Rangers. Plus 155, a beautiful plus money there. We also got the over six in that game. Dylan Larkin wasn't able to get the anytime goal for the Red Wings, but we did get Clayton Keller getting that anytime goal for the Arizona Coyotes at plus 220. So good plus money in that game. The Senators and the St. Louis Blues, we got the under in that one as the Senators came out winning that one. Four to one, they also, we had them plus one and a half at minus 115, so we got them. Covering the puck line, again, another dog that we wish we had on the money line. Predators came out and got that nice win. We paid juice on that at minus 140 and got the under five and a half. New York Rangers were not able to get it done against the Minnesota Wild. This was a crazy game. The Wild actually looked like the Wild team that we all know, and the Rangers really did struggle against them here, so we weren't able to get the Rangers team total over two and a half. Rangers did not win that one, and it did go over that six with the Wild just being too strong in that. We got the push in the Lightning in the first period. Did you guys catch the game between the Lightning and the Winnipeg Jets? Oh my God, the first period, three goals apiece. Like it was absolutely nuts. These two teams came out just with so much energy and fire. But then they were flat, completely flat, both of them in the second. In that third period, we saw um, the Tampa Bay Lightning get another four goals. It was a four to one third period there. So... Oh, I am sorry. The Winnipeg Jets, man, I'm looking at this backwards. Winnipeg Jets ended up getting the win seven to four. Reading it backwards, you guys, it was a crazy game. Kyle Connor was able to get us that goal for the Winnipeg Jets. And we got the over six in that and the push in that first period.
Winnipeg just something else last night in that one. Now, the Ducks, uh, Tony was riding with the Ducks in that game. They weren't able to get it done against the Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago Blackhawks just came out way too strong. And from the very start, scoring five goals in that first, it was a done deal by that point. You could tell that there was nothing happening for these Ducks. And then again, my Calgary Flames, I had the tie in that first period. It wasn't able to happen as um, Calgary got the first goal in there and squeaked it through. So... Let's look at today's games, you guys. I'm excited for today's games. Yes, Neil, going to be a short show for sure. But there's still lots of ways to look at these games and lots of different things to bet. So we have the Washington Capitals taking on the Edmonton Oilers. Now, the Edmonton Oilers are minus 135 on the money line. And the Washington Capitals, if you have faith in them tonight, plus 115 and a total of six and a half. So this is going to be an interesting game. Like I was saying to you guys, it's really hard for a team to beat Calgary or Edmonton and then go play vice versa in the next game. That being said, it's Edmonton Oilers. And I don't know, second leg of a back-to-back for this Washington Capitals team. It's going to be hard. They've won their last three. The teams are trending in opposite directions. They've won their last three. Edmonton's lost three straight. They got the win over at Calgary. I'm going to look at their team total. If you can find better juice than this, I'm not going to bet it. But if I was going to take the Washington Capitals team total over two and a half, it's okay. It's minus 149. So over my uh, limit, I don't go anything over 145, you guys. But if you're looking for something there, it's definitely a good place to look. Yeah, Ovechkin, anytime goal in this one. I think you can ride with that David he's pretty good for getting those anytime goals I'd also be looking at Tom Wilson of the Capitals for that anytime goal as well I like Tom Wilson he's plus 260 for that anytime goal so we expected Mike Smith Costigan now is uh confirmed in net for the Edmonton Oilers he's 17 and 9 and 3 He's allowing an average of 3.05 goals against per game. He is a stronger goalie than Mike Smith. So I think the Edmonton Oilers are making the right move, putting him in here. He will be the reason if Edmonton can pull out the win, that they get this win here. Because Edmonton's defense isn't doing anything. They're only um, they're averaging 3.19 offensively, but only holding teams to 3.21. They're giving up too many goals. If Washington didn't just play Calgary, I'd be all over Washington in this one. My lean is to Washington. I won't lay minus 135 with the Edmonton Oilers, not with how their defense and goalies are. I know their offense is elite. And we have crybaby Connor McDavid. We all know that I think he's a crybaby on there. And he is absolutely ex- outstanding. So is Dry Settle. And they're great offensively but their problem is their defense is just letting them down their goaltending is letting them down i'm gonna ride with the washington capitals team total over two and a half and the over for the full game because both of these offenses can get the points on the board washington is averaging 3.24 for the season and in their last 10 averaging that 3.24 in the last 10 the oilers are averaging 3.1 allowing 3.2 And the Washington Capitals defense is the stronger of the two, only allowing an average of 2.6 in the last 10 and 2.76 overall. It's just that back to back with Calgary is the only thing that's scaring me on them tonight, you guys. But I can see them being able to pull it off. Edmonton won the last matchup 5 to 3, February 22nd. And the over for the Washington Capitals is 14, 5 and 1 in their last 20 games following a win. Neil, you're going to lean to the under. It scares me with both of these offenses and the lack of goaltending for the Edmonton Oilers. I think if we get an under, then Washington dominates this game and Edmonton isn't able to score. I could be completely wrong about this game. You guys know I've been completely wrong about some games. It's either we hit all of them straight money or some of these games are definitely a wrong read. These two teams have played 19 games. Over those 19 games, it has gone under this total of 5.8 goals on average. With the Washington Capitals coming out on top at 3.2 goals on average and the Edmonton Oilers at that 2.7. 
with the last two games, Edmonton has won those last two. So they won back in February. It was a five to three one. They won then in 2019 was the last time these two played each other four to three win for the Edmonton Oilers. I really do think um, that the team total, the Washington Capitals over that two and a half is the best way to go with this one. And we'll look at the other game, you guys. Only two games on the board. It feels kind of weird. We have the Montreal Canadiens taking on the Vancouver Canucks. Now, Montreal is plus 189 on that money line if you like them. The Vancouver Canucks minus 213. It looks like 66% of the money I'm seeing is on the Vancouver Canucks. Um, 34% on the Montreal Canadiens. Now, the Canadiens roll in here. 7, 17, and 6 on the road this season. 15 and 15 on that puck line on the road. The Vancouver Canucks are 12, 10, 2, and 1 at home this season. 14 and 11 on that puck line. When we look at the last 10, both these teams have been playing solid in the last 10, both winning 7 of their last 10 games. Montreal has really turned things around since getting their new coach, uh, St. Louis, in there. It's like this team is a completely different team so it'll be interesting to see how they come out tonight and I'm going to be honest with you guys well I'm always honest with you guys I don't even know why I make that statement I I can't get behind the Vancouver Canucks here I like Demko and net he is expected a net he's 25 16 and two on the season with a 2.63 goal is against average when we look at this team over that last 10 where they've gone seven and three, they've averaged 4.4 goals as their offense has really stepped up. But their defense is just not showing up. They're allowing an average of 3.8 in the last 10 games. When you look at the Montreal Canadiens team here, rolling in on the season, their average goals per game is low at 2.41. But in these last 10, they're averaging that 3.4, allowing 2.8 where over the season they've been allowing 3.79. This team is really turning things around. They are playing hot. So when we look at the line right now um, with the Canucks being such a favorite here, you can still get the Montreal Canadiens with value on that puck line. At plus one and a half, you're getting them at minus 140. And I definitely would lay some money on that. I think it's a safe way to take this game. 15 and 15 on that puck line on the road this season for the Montreal Canadiens with them really turning things around as of late. We look at how they have played the Vancouver Canucks as well. And it's been no Kate walk for the Vancouver Canucks against the Montreal Canadiens in the last nine meetings. The Montreal Canadiens have won seven of those. Uh, the Canucks have only won two of the last nine, you guys. So to pay minus 238 or to think this team can cover the puck line against the Montreal Canadiens, I can't get there. Also, over the last 32 meetings, 22 of those Montreal Canadiens have come out with the win. So in this one, there's a couple ways I'm going to bet it. I uh, personally am just going to ride the Montreal Canadiens on the money line. I don't want to pay uh, minus 140 on that puck line, but I think it's a safe way to go with this. I'm going to take the team total of the Montreal Canadiens over two and a half. I'm getting that at plus 100. I think they definitely come out and score these three goals against against Demko in net. You know, he is a solid goalie, but he has had some games where he's let in passes that are shots that he really shouldn't have. So I'm going to ride the Montreal Canadiens team total, especially with how their offense has been stepping up over that two and a half at plus 100. I'm also going to ride the over for the full game over six. I think we definitely have a high scoring one in this we look at the Vancouver Canucks and another thing we have to remember as well, you guys, they are 0-5 in their last five games following a road trip of seven days or more. They have been on the road. They are coming back home. This is a typical letdown spot for teams coming back home off a road trip. I really do think with how poorly their defense is playing, we get the over and the Montreal Canadiens with how strongly their offense is playing. We get them here on the money line, and I absolutely love it. When we look at these two teams over the last 32 games, um, it hasn't been a lower scoring one. It's average 5.8 for those last 32 games with the Montreal Canadiens 
having the advantage at 3.4. Vancouver Canucks at 2.4. So, you guys, it's going to be a great game. Uh, Montreal, Josh Anderson for an anytime goal at plus 245. I like him. Now, I personally, I'm going to take him at two goals in this one. We can get him for two plus goals. A plus 1,400. And I think he's going to have a big night. Josh Anderson is a beast for the Montreal Canadiens. And he can get he can get two goals. Why not? If I'm willing to put some money down, I'm willing to take him at that two, two plus goals at plus 1,400. All he has to do is get those two for us. So, you guys, that was fucking crazy. I had oh, Al Ninos is popping in and out. Let's get him in here. Let's see what he's liking in these games. So, Guys, bonus. We got Al Ninos here. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, John? I'm doing pretty good here. How are you? I am doing great. So we've talked all the games, but I absolutely want your opinion on them. Yeah, all two of them, huh? All uh, two of them. You know, the you know whopping what? big card. <laughs> you know what? It was uh, actually my first day without uh, an NHL uh, premium pick today. You know, it's only two games, and honestly... They're not uh, the easiest games. At least I didn't see them as the easiest games. But I do think actually uh, we got two live dogs. So there's my opinion on them. But uh, again, I didn't didn't like them quite enough to get there. I mean, obviously the better game here is Washington Edmonton. That's the one you want to watch, and uh, it should be a great one. And I just think again, Edmonton normally at home would be my pick, but the way they've been playing lately, I just the Caps have just been playing way better lately. On the other side, you got two teams that started off pretty slow, but obviously, well, Vancouver's had the better season, but Montreal's kind of woken up a bit lately, so I just think there's there's value on them, but again, I wouldn't go too nuts with it, and uh, my I guess my, my favorite one would probably be the Capitals, but tough games tonight. Sorry. No, th that is absolutely perfect because what you're saying completely coincides with my opinion on both of these games. I think the only way you can take that Montreal game is taking Montreal. Um, e if you grab them on the puck line to be safer and paying that little bit more juice, but I personally, like I told everyone, I'm just going to take them on that money line. I think they have every opportunity against the Vancouver Canucks. And with the, um, the other game, the Washington Capitals, my only fear here is with Calgary last night, it is so hard for teams. And we saw it happen to Vegas when Vegas played Edmonton, then Calgary. It's normally a letdown spot playing the other team of Alberta, but I can't get there with the Edmonton Oilers. So it's the Washington Capitals or no one for me if I have to take a side. Yeah, again, I'd just probably take a shot on both dogs, a little shot on both dogs and uh, enjoy the games. <laughs> again, no premiums for me today. So uh, it sucks because, I mean, again, uh, the NHL is usually one of my favorite sports to bet. So. Tough day for me, but uh, but should be some good games on TV, though, that's for sure. Well, with us both on the same side, I am right after the game, or right after the show, going to parlay the Capitals yeah. and the Montreal Canadiens, both on the money line there for that nice payback, because I think it definitely is a good omen that we both like the same teams tonight. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I think, yeah, as I said, both live dogs, so uh, I think that's where the value is. Absolutely. Well, Al, thank you for joining me. I'm Puck and Crazy. You've got more games tomorrow, so we'll see you back here tomorrow. Yeah, huge card tomorrow, so that should be a lot more fun. Should definitely have uh, some more solid picks then. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you got for sale for us over at Pick Dogs today? Uh, just three plays for me. So I got a three pack, two NBA, one college basketball, and uh, yeah, I do like those plays quite a bit. Uh, but again, gonna miss the NHL and premium side today. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I'm with you. I didn't put any premiums in as well. Okay. Best of luck on all of your bets. Al, thanks again for joining us. All right. Have a good one, Joe. You too. Thank you. Okay, guys, that was Al Nino. So I'm glad he came in here because that really did reassure me. Um, with these bets, Al Nino has been absolutely killing it on the leaderboard there with the NHL. So just to summarize everything, we'll quickly summarize. I'm just going to read a message here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean, Miss Danica. The power play points and the points the same thing to get plus 500 over. Yeah, you should be you should be good. The power play points at that at over a half. 
I like that for sure for Josh Anderson. He is going to have a great night in this game. Sorry, guys, I cannot read and talk. It's just uh, <laughs> it's one of my biggest faults. I can't also, what else can I do? I can't walk and drink either. If I'm trying to carry a drink and trying to walk, it doesn't work. So just to summarize everything, you guys, in the Washington Capitals Edmonton Oilers game, Al is going to lean on the Capitals. I like the Capitals, too. We're going to take, um, oh, I didn't mention the first period over. Kind of highly juiced at um, minus 158, so I'm not going to take it, but I think that's a solid way to go at one and a half. Is that over under for that one? I think we get over that in the first. I think both these teams come out strong. But the over six and a half for the full game. Tom Wilson of the Capitals for that anytime goal at plus 260. Washington Capitals team total over two and a half. You're getting that at minus 149. A little bit high, but I think that is the safest way to take that game. The Montreal Canadiens, Vancouver Canucks, take them on the puck line at plus one and a half at minus 140. I'm going to ride straight money line. If you're fucking crazy like me, ride that money line. And I don't think it's fucking crazy because this Montreal Canadiens team is playing better hockey than the Vancouver Canucks. I like the over six in this game as well. And the Montreal Canadiens team total over two and a half. And Josh Anderson for that anytime goal at plus 245. And... If you think he can get two goals in this, two or more goals, plays plus 1,400, which I am definitely playing tonight. You guys, all the best in all of your bets. Thank you for joining me here. Make sure you watch the soccer show up in the next 40 minutes. I'm pretty sure Ashley is back on it now. So you guys, have a good one. Keep smiling, and let's make some freaking money today.